Okay, so this is my first video. Um, I am newer to diamond painting, but find myself quite fixated on it. Um, so this is Ariel, as you can see. This is from Star Ore. Um, I bought it on Amazon, and it is much more impressive than the other kits that I've bought on Amazon. Um, so I'm gonna work over here. So I prefer doing a checkerboard pattern on my light colors. Um, I do like to um, watch the YouTube channels for people that I know are experts in this field, uh, like Rachel Ray and Miss Crochet and Coffee, and I know that um, specifically Rachel has mentioned recently that she can tell if you do um, a multi-placer on light colors, so I always prefer checkerboard uh, on the light colors in the few that I have done. Um, I got a little excited about the multi-placer when I first got it and might have used it a little too much, um, but I've evened that out now and I am back to checkerboarding my light colors, which I find to be a lot more even. Um, so this particular painting I got because my daughter wanted it. Um, she is a big fan of Disney movies and mermaids and unicorns and all things little girls love these days. It is funny when she was a baby and when I was pregnant, I always swore she would never have princessy stuff or ruffles or pink or all that, um, unless it was entirely her choice and... Lo and behold, when entirely her choice, she chooses pink ponies, unicorns, and mermaids, um, which I'm fine with, as long as it's her choice. Um, so anyways, here I am, diamond painting a mermaid for her. Um, I do find it slightly awkward to talk to myself. <laughs> while I do this, so hopefully that won't always be the case, and hopefully some people enjoy watching this or find instruction. So I actually um, have not been doing this very long. I actually, my daughter got for Christmas a um, Santa post box, like a, a um, a little wooden mailbox to put your letters to Santa in that you could color and decorate that one of my um, friends and coworker, um, coworker and good friend gave me for her for Christmas and Jacqueline had so much fun with it and when it came to putting the rhinestones on she loved love 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 putting the rhinestones on the snowflakes and um, that led to me then saying, wow, she really, really enjoyed those rhinestones. What else can I find um, that she would have fun decorating like this? And lo and behold, and a few weeks forward, I found diamond painting. And she, we got a turtle diamond painting for her, just a little, little kid one. And she's um, about a quarter of the way done with hers. And she likes it, but she much prefers to help mommy with, with with the paintings that mommy's doing than to do her own in regular regular preschool fashion. All right, and actually I hear her coming up the stairs, so I'm probably gonna finish this here momentarily. And I'm not really sure what my camera's doing right now. I just got a new stand, so it's wobbling a little bit. I probably need to figure that out. 
Hopefully I can fill in this before we have to stop here. Um, so I really like diamond painting. I, I find it, I find it, um, very meditative and, um, rewarding to my OCD tendencies. Uh, I do tend to get a little obsessed about the crafts I do, so I always, um, get a lot of, um, enjoyance out of completing each portion of these. And here is the little one. Let's see if she's going to let me finish here. What's that, babe? <laughs> Talking about Hatchimals. Okay, so once I finish this segment of this arm, that's probably going to be it for today. And hopefully this camera cooperated with me. I'll take a look and find out. And I hope that anyone that does ever come across this video does enjoy it. Oh yeah, okay. And hopefully more to come. Thank you.